Hello my dear student friends, welcome back to my session on SOLIDWORKS in 21 days. We are on day 10. In this, let me tell you about uh, what is 3D printing, how we can do 3D printing using uh, CAD modeling software, our software, the SOLIDWORKS. Okay. Now, we are on day 10. We will see some particulars about 3D printing. If you google it, you will get uh, enormous amount of information about 3d printing okay so i don't want to waste uh, our time actually i am in in two points let me complete about the 3d printing the 3d printing has three different names we can call it 3d printing or rapid prototyping or additive manufacturing all the three are one and the same some i mostly say 3d printing but some say rapid prototyping or RP or abbreviation as RP then additive manufacturing all the three are one and the same okay so I am extensively using you know about that I am extensively using SOLIDWORKS uh, for, for more than a decade for, for more than 1.5 decades and uh, for the past uh, six years I am using a 3D printer machine now okay uh, for all my uh, personal jobs actually right so that way I am uh, conversant with uh, the 3d printing technologies uh, for more than six years uh, from now types of 3d printing many machines are available in the market uh, even uh, if you go to Amazon India so you can buy a 3d printer machine or from Aliexpress uh, six days back when I uh, at that time uh, there was no even Amazon also I, I believe so I purchased through Aliexpress it took nearly one of one's time to get it uh, from China it is a FDM type fusion deposition modeling the other one is the DLP digital light processing it has uh, many sub names also it is uh, basically working on the ultraviolet uh, curing setup the resin based uh, machine actually the resolution is uh, much uh, better actually okay so as i told you now under the types of uh, 3d printing there are many types of machines available okay uh, um, uh, sla type is there many many types are there they, they, to my knowledge there are nearly uh, five to ten types are there but uh, predominantly the FDM and DLP are used at uh, ho even home level okay uh, in industry level there are many even uh, metal 3d printers are also available in the market the cost of the machine may be uh, more than a crore even the machines are available for 10-15 crores also okay so now to explain about that one let me take one example a simple object with the simple object let me show you tell you show you okay mm, I developed a small uh, cylindrical piece with a cut with a cut then I I'll play the video for this I'll play the video for it now it is a uh, modeled in our SOLIDWORKS software the solid part file extension is dot uh, uh, sld prt but uh, we have to export it or we have to save it as uh, you will see all these things now I saved the file first as solid part SLD PRT a cam a rotary cam cam for a dispenser using this only I will be conducting a session on uh, Arduino the today's Arduino now let me save this as save as or export it as STL file stereo lithography file STL file now STL file created 
because for 3D printer machine what I have that requires STL uh, file that STL file is stored here is stored in one particular uh, software actually let me go back so stored in uh, that particular folder 3600 Previn Roy yeah it is a cam for dispenser I cut it and I I pasted it in my desktop then I opened repeater software this is the software to create a G code for the 3d printer machine what I have so I am loading that STL file in this particular software cam dispenser STL file now it is uh, inserted it is loaded in the this object is loaded in the software now this will convert this will create a G code actually right this will create a G code for the FDM machine 3d printer machine 3d printer machine is something similar to a CNC machine I am just changing only some few settings actually a yes, few settings I am changing okay so don't bother about all these things now now slice with slicer C3R again there are many slicing softwares available now it it will take uh, 7 minutes 4 seconds to complete this particular task okay now I saved it as a G code to print to print dot G code is my file name now I inserted my pen drive I copied then I inserted my pen drive my machine uh, will, uh, uh, will work as a standalone machine uh, only thing is I have to insert this in the SD card uh, sorry micro SD card now I paste it in the USB drive okay so with that we stop now after that you see that I will be inserting this is my 3D printer so print file there is only one file called 3 to print G code now insert it it will start printing now it starts printing now now printing is about to be completed let me start let me close this is the object I obtained this is the object I obtained okay it is a something like I, I want to use this as a cam okay if you have uh, if you are really interested you see that uh, a parallel session that I am really con uh, conducting uh, you can see this in action in the Arduino lesson actually okay I want to fix this in the motor the servo motor so this will act as a, an actuator to open and open the edge uh, press the uh, sanitary dispenser unit okay in the same way I let me close this one mm, we'll see another one this is the real model that we developed okay so if you want I'll, I'll see this there are three or four parts actually the pin is a standard part that is a pin so this is the pin this is the pin I'll show you the pin separately this pin is nothing but a notice board pin okay I modeled it actually it is readily available in the market here it is just a notice board pin okay a pack of uh, 50 pins are available for uh, 20 30 rupees so I use this one this is a standard part 
and all other parts are uh, 3d printed this is the blade if you want you can see the blade separately so this is the blade so all are assembled here this is the stand everything is assembled here so it will work as a vertical windmill actually so it will rotate okay so if the wind flow is uh, sufficient enough wind velocity is sufficient enough this will start rotating right this will start rotating this way okay now i'll show you some of the drawings now so this is the part equivalent to this one this part the blade part okay then the top portion this top portion then this is the stand the base stand okay um, these are the standard this is this is one stud i will be fixing here then this is the notice board pin so this is the box i bought from the shop already long back okay i i used only one pin okay now now it is 3d printed about to fix about to fix this one okay we see we saw this one already now we see this in action so it rotates okay now let me close this one let me show you another file so this is the another setup even here also the all the, the pins and all standard part it has a basic basically there are three major parts actually plastic parts the top portion okay the top part right i'll i'll show that separately top portion right I, I I have inserted the pin inside it okay so this is it so I think last class only we saw about the text wrapping the text either on the cylindrical surface or on the conical surface this is the wrapping a text on a conical surface and this part blade here I used uh, now I will I'll show you those things in uh, stages by using the rollback you see this is the loft using the loft I created this one uh, to create this loft I used the three different sketches you see the sketch 2 is at the base a angled uh, slot angled slot it is available here three point R slot okay one sketch other sketch at a height of maybe 50 mm another sketch with some offset third sketch from the mid it is again 50 so from the base it is 100 so like that I created this particular uh, loft then I have done some fillet and some small cuttings then I made a circular array for five blades for five blades that's it the base base stand uh, base stand even you can see my name also here let me roll back first I created a small disk made a slot one base arm some support some filleting and then circular pattern of it and boss extruded the center stem some editing 
some adding some removal of materials so everything is done so based on the wind the direction this will rotate okay now see it in the action so this is the model and this one there is a ceiling fan stem portion I had to prepare so, so the ceiling fan is on let me take it near the ceiling fan you see how fast it rotates you see how fast it rotates okay so this is how I made uh, uh, this is the power of uh, the software you see again I'm I repeat uh, whatever I said in the earlier classes don't see the software the solidworks software or even the PLC and Arduino as a subject using all these you please think of how to make some parts and products really okay what I showed you now is I used 3d printing technology to I, I used SOLIDWORKS software to make the product I used the my FDM 3d printer to make it a prototype actually okay the FDM machine uh, 3d printed machine is not a full-fledged commercial machine actually okay you can see you can get some prototypes actually a few samples you can get it that is the purpose of uh, the FDM uh, the 3d printers okay so once you are satisfied if you want to go for mass production that time again the 3d printer will not help you have to uh, go for other manufacturing techniques like uh, most of the parts these are plastics you know so injection molding die you have to prepare once you prepared an injection molding injection molding die design is also possible in solidworks i nearly for the past 10 15 years uh, i made nearly uh, 50 plus uh, injection molding dies for various plastic parts actually so that is why uh, for that reason only i use uh, the uh, software actually the solidworks software not for just uh, theoretical purposes alone okay so in today's session we saw how to model or how to create parts and how to use the 3d printer or rapid prototyping or additive manufacturing technology in making some prototype samples okay so i think uh, this is this session is not a learning session rather an information session so you got some information from me about how efficiently we can make we can make use of the solidworks and the 3d printing together to make a part okay so with this let me wind up maybe tomorrow maybe maybe tomorrow i'll show you the real commercial machines that i we developed using the solidworks integrating the solidworks and the plc it's a real machine actually right it's a commercial machine we developed uh, two years back of uh, under a uh, under a scheme actually under a central government scheme so we successfully uh, executed that particular project it uh, one set i used it for my demonstration purpose two uh, three such uh, things are uh, in uh, are in working condition in industry now uh, it is running for the past two years right one the fourth one is with me now okay i'll show you that okay so i hope you already subscribe my channel if not you please subscribe it uh, so you will not only you will be not only getting the information about solidworks the things related to the solid modeling and more importantly the 3d printing okay so 3d printing if you want to know more about 3d printing you may have to spend some uh, money but uh, i will give you the limited information of course not an extensive information extensive information is not required only when you want to extensively use the 3d printed technology at that time you venture explore more go in depth about that particular 3d printer till then a minimal information is sufficient okay so subscribe my channel 
and uh, inform this to others let them also get some benefit out of my sessions uh, if possible you please uh, i created this part you know the cam part you know so that part i used in the uh, the arduino session actually okay thank you